How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is Big Daddy Dave and this is a mod map update for Farming Simulator 22 for the map Akrug Homefeld. And we are going to read the change log. This is version 1.0.1.0. And it reads, pedestrian path added to a street. More will be added to the streets in the next update. Some wind turbines removed as they cause performance issues. Ground unevenness at 2 cow yard at the green garage hall fixed. Green grass in houses removed. BGA halls placeable improved since it was not at a level with the ground. New start vehicles added as the old ones were not good for start. Log error fixed. Added new field entrance to field number 20. Precision farming is not needed anymore. Map is now playable without precision farming. Those are the updates. If we check out the vehicles that they say that we now own, you can see we do have a Fent Favorite 511C, a Fent 714 Vario, a New Holland CH770, Telehandler, the Schaefer 4670T, trailers, a couple of Rudolph TDK. 280RL trailers, the header for the harvester, the Agromass POV 5XL plow, the Lemkin Schmargd 9500K cultivator, the Lemkin Heliodor 9600 uh, disc harrow, the Amazon KG 3001 Super Power Harrow, the Amazon Cetaya 3000 Super Cedar, Hardy Mega 1200L Sprayer, the Amazon ZATS 3200 Fertilizer Spreader, the Telehandler Tools Magzi Universal Bucket Pallet Fork and Bale Fork, the header for trailer for the header that we were given, and oops, I'm the wrong button. There we go. The Agco 1500 weight as well as the 1100. So yeah, that's, I believe, pretty significant improvement. But there is something that I had in my last map tour. I did do a map tour for this map, um, and I want to reiterate it for anybody who comes on here. Um, as you can see now, it looks incredibly dark. The shader, the shadows are very, very dark to start but you can fix it you can update it so what you need to do is first go and grab a tractor or something where you can just go and adjust the wheels just something cheap something easy yeah you can see a huge huge difference on this map right now with the darkened uh, lighting but as soon as we grab one of our tractors which I believe they're still stored in here yes here we go so we'll just grab this one. And then if I remember right, uh, nope, can I get out this way? Cannot. So again, this is very, very important that if you want to play in this map and you're wondering why it seems, oh, there's the gate right there, why it seems so incredibly dark, it is designed this way, but it can be fixed. It can be modified just by doing a simple tweak. Oh my goodness. Let's zoom in. Yeah, you can see just how incredibly dark it is right now. We're going to head over to the shop. Again, I showed this in my map tour when I first uh, came onto this map. I'm just re-showing it to anybody who wants to, who wants to know. And then, is it this? No, it wasn't this way. Darn it.
here we go. Make it right here. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to specifically park this tractor so some of it's in the shade and some of it's not. Something like that. So we'll kind of have some of the hood in the shade and some of it not. Alright, so what you do, you go to repair trigger, go to customize, and just change the wheels. It doesn't matter what you put on there, uh, just anything will do. Go ahead and customize, and hit yes. And look at that difference. That is a huge, huge difference than what was there before. Now if we go back the way we came, where it was really kind of shadowy, especially along the roadway, like that is a significant difference and vast improvement. Now you see all this shade from the trees like that's night and day difference so but i hope you enjoyed this map update kind of walk through if you did please show me by liking sharing subscribing following commenting doing all the things the algorithms enjoy you doing that shows that you're engaged with this channel and enjoying the content and that being said i hope you have a fantastic day take care Oh, uh, you know what? One more thing. Almost forgot. Almost forgot. This is kind of an important one. There is no mention in the change log that a new save game is required. So if you are currently playing this, you should be safe to go ahead and just update it and everything will should work just fine. Um, again, nothing mentions new save game needed. So, alright. Now, I'll go ahead and sign off. Take care.